Maggie LaBranch Gonzalez, and I'm an attorney with Litherland Kennedy and Associates. And today I'm going to talk to you about Proposition 19. And I know what you're thinking, Maggie, we're so sick of you talking about Proposition 19. Believe me, I'm sick of talking about it too. And for just to remind you what Proposition 19 is, it was a voter approved constitutional amendment passed in November 3rd, 2020. It's also known as the Home Protection for Seniors, Severely Disabled, Families, and Victims of Wildfire or Natural Disasters Act. But what everyone remembers about Proposition 19 and how, is how it impacted your property taxes. So under Proposition 19, it severely limited how people can transfer their low property taxes at death to their children to keep their low property tax bill. Now you have to meet all kinds of very strict criteria in order for that to happen. And you've probably heard me talk about Proposition 19 at nauseum since it was first passed. And all I've heard from you is how horrible it is and when are they going to do something about it? Well, guess what? Now was your chance. Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association is currently working on a petition to get it on the constitutional, uh, to get a constitutional amendment on the ballot for November 2024. So they're calling it Repeal the Death Tax Act, and it will restore the constitutional rights that were lost in 2020 with Proposition 19 when it was narrowly passed. Essentially, the right for parents to continue to transfer their home and other properties to their children without triggering reassessment to market value and other unaffordable tax increases. So this measure that they're trying to get on the ballot will not affect the good parts of Proposition 19. Remember, there was a good part of Proposition that we all loved, which was allowing you to transfer your low property tax bases anywhere in the state of California if you met certain criteria. What it is doing is simply affecting the bad parts of Proposition 19, which nobody liked. It's restoring the rights that Californians had for over 30, 30 years to pass their low property tax bases to their children when they passed away. So the repeal the death tax act will also enable anyone who's already been impacted by Proposition 19. So they've already had their taxes increased because of Proposition 19. They're going to get it to be restored back to 2020 so that their property tax basis will go back, right? It'll go back to the former base year before the date of death. But here's the big but. They need over a million signatures to get it on the ballot. This is where you come in. I've been hearing about it. This is your chance to get involved. Go to fourcalifornians.com and sign the petition. Tell everyone you know about it. Spread the word on social media. You can volunteer to collect signatures. If you've been impacted or you have family members who've been impacted by Proposition 19, share your story, right? We want to hear about it. Hold a party and have everyone sign the petition. But this is your chance to get involved and do something about it. I'll also put the QR code on here so you can just scan your phone and sign the petition that way. Let's do this, everyone.